Jake here with Jan and Davis Acoustic Music. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Deering John Hartford model banjo and uh, what makes it unique and really special. Um, obviously, first off, we can tell that it's very inspired by John Hartford and we'll talk about some of those things. Uh, visually, you can see the uh, inlay pattern uh, that's uh, steamboat inspired. You know, John Hartford was actually a steamboat captain. So this banjo is a maple banjo. It has a maple neck and resonator with a ebony fretboard there. Uh, standard kind of one-piece flange design. And uh, probably the most unique thing about this instrument is the fact that it has a granadillo tone ring, which essentially is just a wooden tone ring. And it, it really adds to kind of the, the uniqueness of this instrument. Um, the uh, granadillo is a hard wood and it actually gives it a nice bell-like quality and it sets on a softer maple rim which uh, allows for a real quick response out of this instrument um, and uh, a lot of people think since it has a wooden tone ring that it doesn't respond as quick but it, it really does um, but with that the note decays faster also so um, it kind of gives you a, a, a unique note separation and it's a very versatile instrument. It can be used for claw hammer and uh, three finger alike and I'll try to do a little bit of three finger at the end of the video to, to show you the, the range of the tone you can get out of it. Um, but it was designed that way with the wooden tone ring. Uh, the story goes because John Hartford, uh, you know, as he got up there in age, uh, he wanted a lighter banjo, and it's, it's much lighter without that heavy bell brass tone ring. And also, uh, he would tap dance a lot on stage. If any of you have ever seen John Hartford perform, you've probably seen him do that. And this banjo, you know, made it easier on his back, I'm sure, to, to be up there uh, tap dancing. So overall, it's just a really, really cool banjo. You know, it's got a lot of things that make it unique. It certainly has a unique tone and it's very versatile. You know, you can get a lot of different range of sound out of this. You know, especially if you, if you do more than just three finger or just claw hammer. If you want something that's real responsive and lively with, with a good tone and note separation, uh, this banjo definitely fits the bill. Uh, if you'd like to visit more about it, feel free to give us a call. And uh, we thank you for watching. Have a good one.